This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review, and I'm ready to take a look at your MLB overnight lines for the games taking place on Saturday, July the 9th. Just two days left of baseball action prior to the All-Star break, so let's get right to taking a look at Saturday's games. Let's start with the LA Angels taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, on Saturday, July 9, we've got Nick Tropiano on the mound for the LA Angels. And, you know, he's had some bright spots in this rotation for the Angels this season, but I still do not view him as a major upside type of pitcher long term in this rotation with the Angels. You know, he does have a solid 3.28 ERA, but I'm seeing some very strong warning signs, red flags, whatever you want to call it, that regression. Uh, could be about to take hold for Tropiano because his FIP is at 4.90, his ex-FIP 5.05, same with the Sierra, right in that same range. Uh, that tells you that, you know, when you see the ERA almost two runs lower uh, than the advanced stats, uh, that tells you that there could be something bad about to happen for Tropiano. And I don't like his walk rate either. 4.33 walks per nine innings. That's a little bit too high for my liking. Uh, he has had some difficulty in terms of putting guys on base. Uh, so that's definitely something that concerns me as well uh, with Tropiano. And how about his ground ball rate? 33%. In some stadiums, you get away with that. It's not something that's overly concerning, but that's a bad profile con considering who you're facing here. The Baltimore Orioles, Camden Yards, you know, a place where they really love to hit the long ball. So that is definitely something to be concerned about for Tropiano here. And I think he'll struggle. He gave up two home runs in his last start uh, against the light hitting Rays. Uh, so it's definitely some concerns that I have for Tropiano in terms of being able to navigate through this Baltimore lineup. And on the flip side, do you trust Giovanni Gallardo uh, at this stage? Uh, not a pitcher that I trust uh, to shut down quality hitters. That's for sure. Uh, a guy that really labored in his last start against the LA Dodgers. Barely made it through four innings. Was in major distress in every inning. Guys were on base pretty much every uh, inning uh, against Gallardo uh, in that start against the Dodgers. He's yielded at least one home run in each of his last five starts. Again, that's not something that's overly uh, positive expectation uh, for a pitcher when you see that uh, when he's pitching here at Camden Yards. And both of these bullpens have been a little bit shaky. The Angels' bullpen's been a little bit erratic all year. And Baltimore's bullpen's been fantastic. But they're suffering from their starting pitching just not being effective enough and not pitching deep enough into ball games, And that's becoming an issue. We've seen a little bit of a slip in this Baltimore bullpen effectiveness, uh, even including the closer, Zach Britton. He's been a little bit more hittable of, of late as well. So, again, the problems with the Baltimore starting pitching, starting to, you know, affect the bullpen in a negative way too, uh, and that could continue moving forward. Gallardo, again, failing to pitch six innings uh, in ten straight outings, so that's a problem. Again, we might see the Baltimore bullpen uh, taxed and used a little bit heavily in this game. Uh, total sitting at ten, it's not a bargain total by any stretch, nor should you expect that. We're into July now. The hot weather's here. We know how good the Baltimore lineup is and we know how bad their starting pitching has been. So odds makers are aware of that. They're not giving you any sort of bargain putting this total at 10. But I still expect it's got a chance to go over the number. I'll look to over to bet that game over the total of 10 uh, Angels and Orioles on Saturday. Another game that should be high scoring. Feature plenty of crooked numbers. Minnesota, Texas. Ricky Nolasco, the veteran, really had a rough season for the Minnesota Twins so far. 5.26 ERA on the year. And, you know, some pitchers have, you know, home road splits sharp splits between home and road. For Ricky Nolasco, it's day and night. I mean, his nighttime ERA, and this is going to be a night game uh, in Arlington, 7 o'clock local start in Texas. This is going to be a night game, and Nolasco's night ERA and eight night starts this year, 7.04 ERA. That's just abysmal. The Twins are 7-1 and one to the over in Nolasco's eight starts under the lights, 5-1 and one to the over in a six road starts, 12 Three and two to the over uh, in his 17 starts overall this season. So uh, I don't, I do not trust Nolasco here against this Texas lineup. The Texas lineup continues really to carry this team because the pitching certainly has really faltered uh, as of late, uh, having a hard time. Uh, pitching lately have the Rangers due to the absorbent amount of injuries to their starting pitching with Derek Holland, Hugh Darvish, and Colby Lewis all still on the DL. You've got a bunch of guys that really have no business pitching at the major league level right now that are in this Texas rotation. Uh, 
and uh, Nick Martinez is another guy. He's one of those guys. I mean, I just don't think he should be in the starting rotation. I pretty damn confident saying he's only in this rotation because of all the injuries. Uh, Martinez has allowed 15 runs uh, in 19.2 innings over his last four starts. Those aren't good numbers whatsoever. Has not pitched uh, more than six innings in any of those games. Uh, the overs three and one uh, in Martinez's four starts uh, since he's joined the rotation. You know, the Texas starters aren't uh, eating innings, which is another problem. Uh, and that bullpen is in a complete state of disarray right now for Texas. They have been battered. They have been bruised uh, in the in recent weeks. That Texas bullpen, actually, in their last 10 games, they have a bullpen ERA of 7.36. That is horrendous for that Texas bullpen in their last 10 games. They've basically been throwing gasoline on the fire uh, <laughs> and just opening the door to late runs uh, in the, you know, the sixth inning, seventh inning, and beyond. Uh, there's been... Te- plenty of opportunities for the other team to score against this beleaguered bullpen uh, and that's probably part of the reason why we see this total extremely high uh, in the 11 to 11 and a half range in this game but again it's a high total but it's high for a reason and I still think when it's all said and done could to get this game to have a solid chance to get up and over that total so I'll look over at the 11 and 11 and a half range between uh, Minnesota and Texas uh, one thing I want to point out too about some of these other games throughout the weekend watch out And be careful about betting on pitchers, specifically starters, obviously, that are in the All-Star game next week uh, that will be attending. That last start before the break, when they're going to the All-Star game, their adrenaline's flowing, they're not quite focused, maybe they're not quite sharp, they're not zoned in on the task at hand, looking forward to the All-Star break experience. Uh, That's definitely something you're going to want to be aware of uh, throughout uh, the the weekend here. with the uh, with the pitchers with the starting pitchers uh, that are going to the All Star game, I mean, you look at a couple of names that are on the list pitching on Saturday uh, on the uh, baseball slate. Uh, John Lester, you know, John Lester commanding a big price uh, over a minus 150 road favorite against Pittsburgh with Cool on the mound. Too cool for school. Well, we'll see if he's cool enough to pitch a good game here for the Pittsburgh Pirates uh, as he takes on John Lester. So I don't want to lay the price with John Lester. Not saying he's going to pitch bad. But the potential is there for him to just not have that same, I don't know, sharp mind, clear mind, focus, you know, hyped up to be going to an all-star game. So, again, he's John Lester is a guy I would not want to back. Max Scherzer, by the way, breaking news before I started recording this video, Max Scherzer is replacing Steven Strasburg on the National League all-star team. Uh, Strasburg not going to the all-star game anymore, even though he was picked to. Uh, and it's going to be Max Scherzer from the Nationals uh, that's going to replace him. And Max Scherzer, Scherzer, sh- sure enough, uh, if I can spit that out uh, properly, <laughs> uh, Max Scherzer is going to be on the mound Saturday, uh, taking on the New York Mets. And again, I've not been uh, eager to back Max Scherzer all season long. He has been better of late. There's no denying that. But again, he's another pitcher going to the All-Star game now, a late addition. Uh, you're just worried about where the psyche is for these pitchers, like a Lester, like a Scherzer. Are they are they focused? Are they going to be zoned in? Are they going to have their A stuff? It's definitely a concern and something you're going to want to watch out for Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Look out for those pitchers, starting pitchers that are pitching that are going to be at the All-Star game. So, again, you just got to be a little bit careful, a little bit leery uh, of backing some of those pitchers. Uh, when I look at some of the other games on the Saturday slate, Uh, Miami-Cincinnati actually kind of stands out to me. That's the game we'll wrap up with. Uh, John Lamb, to me, has really hit a wall. Uh, We talked about how I thought he was really a guy that was a sketchy starter at the beginning when he entered the Reds' rotation. Don't forget, Brian Price has had his hands tied this season. Just tons of guys that have been on the DL, in and out of the DL, really, uh, for the Cincinnati Reds from a pitching perspective all season long. But John Lamb's been absolutely gashed and hit hard. Uh, last few outings, you know, last three of his last five starts, uh, he's allowed four runs or more, so that's not good. Just got crushed by the Washington Nationals uh, in his last start. Eight runs allowed in 4.1 innings of work. Could be a little bit tricky here against the Marlins uh, navigating this lineup. I'm just worried he's running on fumes right now. 7.47 ERA his last three starts. How about an 8.51 ERA on the road in five road starts for John Lamb? So major concerns with him. I think Adam Conley, the other lefty in this matchup for the Miami Marlins, should have the edge. Uh, you know, he's had a rough blip in the 
you know, he's had a couple of bumps in the road. He had a bad outing against Detroit, bad outing against Arizona, but really outside of that, he's pitched pretty good. Very good in his last outing against Atlanta. Four hit shutout baseball and six innings of work. Uh, so solid numbers for the most part for uh, Adam Conley. He should definitely have a pitching edge here in this game over uh, John Lamb. Obviously, it's priced that way. We're looking at the Marlins as a significant home favorite here. Miami in that minus 200 range, but it's warranted. Maybe Miami run line, minus one and a half is the way I'd look uh, in this game. Might be a solid run line play there with the Marlins. Uh, Marlins over their team total probably makes some sense as well. Just see John Lamb as a guy that's, you know, a little bit uh, running on fumes at the moment. And like I said, when he first was entered into this Cincinnati rotation, I didn't see anything in the scouting reports or anything that I had seen from him down in the minors that indicated long-term sustainability as a consistent and productive major league starter. And I think we're starting to see signs of that with John Lamb. Just not up to the task maybe to be a major league starter at this stage of his career. All right, that's going to wrap things up for me for my look at MLB Overnight Lines for Saturday, July the 9th. I'm sports handicapper Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review. We've just got one day of baseball action left uh, before the All-Star break. I'll be back to preview the Sunday games. Always on the go? Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game. 